As you can tell, I've been messing around paint effects lately, and I've been discovering some pretty awesome things. Uh, recently, I discovered the blending properties within paint effects. Uh, come in handy if you're not used to creating paint effects, or you just want to combine paint effects together. You can create some really awesome things with this. You can crossbreed plants, or combine daisies with hands or something. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Um, so to start off, I'm just going to give you an example. I'm just going to drag the grass out and I'm going to go up to paint effects preset blending and you'll have two options here you'll have the shading or the shape option so if I bump the shading up to 100 and drag the shape down and I select a new brush let's say the neon brush so I'll sit, shift select the neon brush and the grass should take the shading of the new paintbrush which is the neon brush so if I render this out you'll notice you'll get some awesome neon grass. So, let me do the opposite. Uh, mine is kind of a pain in the ass. You have to delete everything and unselect the preset blending in order to start a new one. So, let's just drag the grass out again. And go up to paint effects, preset blending, option box, and I'm gonna bring the shape up. So if I want a new shape with the same shading as the grass, um, why don't we have some grass shaded light bulbs? Why not? All right, so drag some light bulbs out, render that out. Um, looks kind of funny here, but yeah, you basically got the new shading of the grass. You can see it blending in there. So this is a really awesome feature within Maya. You can create some awesome effects. Like, let me try and crossbreed some plants now. Um, go up to get brush. Make sure your preset blending is turned off. Um, let's see. Why don't we combine some of these guys? Why don't we throw some grass in there with them? So let's see. Just drag these out onto the grid. Um, I'll minimize this. Go up to preset blendings. And so we're going to want to take a little bit of the shape of the grass and take some of the shading too. So select the grass, shift select the grass and drag this out. So you'll notice there'll be a combination as opposed to the original ones. You can see a little grass in there and kind of the shape of the grass. They're not exactly forming this daffodil shape or whatever flower this is. So this is basically an awesome way to create models or whatever you need um, within Maya. Um, yeah, I'd love to see what you guys can make. Uh, reply to this. Send me some photos. I'll try and get back to you. Thanks.